Federation Championship semifinals with a big win. Last week we introduced you to a Long Island athlete involved in a lesser known sport, ping pong. Well, the island has got even more unique athleticism in Jonathan Scarallo. The senior's got a need for speed and comes from a family that you could say is driven. Our Stephen Gelbs went along for the ride with the subject of our student spotlight. Jonathan, thanks so much for joining us in the Student Spotlight. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Now, you're certainly a unique Student Spotlight, one that doesn't really have a high school. You get homeschooled and yeah. also are a race car driver. Yeah. It's something that not a lot of kids in this area are really into. How'd you get started in that? Uh, well, it all started because uh, my older brother, he's a professional race car driver as well, and uh, he's actually 13 years older than me. So with that, with, uh, with him being 13 when I was born, and when he was 16, I was three, and right around then is when he started to race cars. So because of that, I grew up at the racetrack, grew up traveling the country to go watch him and stuff, and just loved it, and there was no chance that it wasn't gonna be in my blood, and I wasn't gonna want my crack at it as well. How's your mother in all this? It's not, it's not the safest of sports, and your brother does it, you do it. How does she hold up? It certainly is a very dangerous sport. You know, We're reaching speeds in these cars around 145, 150 miles an hour or so, and uh, you know she's pretty good. You know She supports us. 100%. You know, she's very diehard for us and does everything she can to support us. And she comes to our races, but a lot of times she can't watch because she gets so nervous and she wants the best for us so badly and stuff, which is really great to have something like that, you know, even though she chooses not to watch, but because of the reason, it's okay. What do you like most about racing cars? You know, there's so many things. You know, obviously, I love the speed the acceleration and then just being able to push the limits of physics and, and the car and myself. And the competition is great also, you know, the, it's absolutely fierce, the competition. It's unlike anything what people can imagine. You don't just race cars as a hobby and as what you do, but you also drive. Your regular car is a race car. Yeah. Look at this. We're strapped in here. We've got all these, these buttons. How, how'd you land this car? Yeah, well this uh, this car used to be a pace car for the IndyCar series, so uh, they really did it up obviously with the racing belts and it's got fire bottles and all the buttons here for the power and the strobe lights and the transponder here, uh, so there's, there's certainly a lot of sophistication even just here in my street car. <laughs> so you can be honest with us, Jonathan. Yep. You're going speeds of 150 miles an hour in the race car. You get on a 30 mile an hour speed limit road. How fast are you going? You're going pretty quick. Uh, no, actually, I'm going the speed limit, and that's it. You know, my friends actually tend to make fun of me a little bit because uh, because I am a race car driver and I do not drive fast on the road at all. Um, you know, some of them they even don't really believe that I'm a race car driver until they come and see me race because of how I drive on the street. And, uh, you know, it just has to do with the fact that uh, that's not the time to be messing around or anything like that because things could end uh, badly in a hurry. Was it a difficult decision to, for your senior year, decide not to go back to school and, and get homeschooled? Uh, it was certainly a difficult decision, but at the same time, this sacrifice wasn't that hard because I've made so many other sacrifices to chase after my dreams in racing and stuff that it was kind of just like, eh, another one. Uh, all right, you know, if, the, if it's going to increase my chances of being able to get stuff done and uh, one day make my dream come true of racing in the Indianapolis 500, uh, I think I could give up my senior year. The senior year, like school was, like racing was around before school and it's going to be around afterwards too. So it was kind of easy in, in a sense to make that decision. Still difficult, but in perspective, it wasn't as hard. The future for you. Mm -hmm. Let's start with Next year and then and then move on. Next year, you're going to college? What, what are you looking to do? Uh, well, right now, uh, I, I'm about to put in my application for Suffolk uh, Community. Uh, I've chose to stay there this way the next stay home. Uh, the schedules are pretty workable so that I could do all this stuff along with the racing like how we talked about before. And uh, it's kind of like on the fly, you know, obviously if I get an IndyCar contract in two years and I got to move to Indianapolis, I can't be going to Suffolk. <laughs> so um, certainly that's the plan right now and it's definitely on the move and decisions are ma being made day by day. With it. So 
take us in far into the future now. What is the ultimate goal for Jonathan Scarrell? You know, first of all, my, my sights right now is the Indy cars and the Indianapolis 500. There's, there's nothing like it in the world. Uh, you know, they have hundreds of thousands of fans there. The cars are doing 235 miles an hour and even sometimes 240 miles an hour. It's an incredible event. It's a race that's very historic and stuff. But then uh, after that, you know, I want to do a little bit of everything. Uh, I want to do the 24 hours of Daytona, the 24 hours of Le Mans. Uh, the Daytona 500. You know, I want to do it all, but right now my main focus is definitely Indy cars. All right, Jonathan. Well, we appreciate you joining us, Thank and good you. luck with everything in the future. That was Jonathan Scarallo. I'm Stephen Gelbs for MSG Varsity. Thanks, Stephen. Coming up on the desk, we'll meet the man who's the driving force behind the.